Hey, what's up guys? Nick here, host of the Informative Fisherman Show, and today I want to talk to you about Yellowbird's new products, the brand new Yellowbird planer boards. I know a lot of guys were caught up on the originals, but they've made some cool improvements. They added a smaller size, um, some cool variations, a tattle flag. You know, this is how it comes right here in the box. Uh, I'm going to break down what comes in here, how you can rig it up, how you can even rig it up the old way if that's what you're used to, or how you can rig it up with that tattle flag. So let's get into it. All right, so now your medium and your large size come like this. Let's go ahead and open the box up and see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Right off the bat, here's our arm with our tensioner clip right on there. We can put it on with the nuts. I mean, it's real obvious. You back those off, put that on, put it down. That's your tensioner clip. Instead of like the old style with it being loose and going around, with that old release, it went all the way back here. So sometimes you had to give your rod a really good jerk to get it off. With the tensioner clip and the release clip being up here, it's really nice because now just a little smoother pop and you can pop it you can pop it free if you want to and send that board back. Um, right there, you can adjust it now with the little Phillips right there. You can adjust it and get it tighter or looser. Uh, really quick and easy with the screwdriver right there. Then you have your other gadgets here. You got your springs and we got a little tiny wrench down in this bad boy and that's we're going to be hooking it up our tattle flag which is right on the back right here you can already see i'm going to just flip it over and you can already see what we got going on here um, it's tight right now so i'm going to back off that screw and i'm going to show you how to put this bad boy together okay so now i took one of the two springs it comes with and i put it in the middle hole here uh, top hole would be less tension on there uh, middle medium uh, all the way down there a lot tighter there's a screw right here another one for the Phillips that's uh, the tension of the flag for how tight that flag is up and down I backed it off a little bit now I'm just gonna stand up my flag I'm gonna take the spring go right through that same bottom hole now you can see there we go and you can see back here when the fish hits now you're gonna get an indicator when he strikes it bang 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 you got that little tattle flag tattling on that fish for you from there, I'm going to take that other release I have and simply attach it on the back of here. Okay, so now I went ahead right here on the back of our tattle flag and attached that other release clip. There you go, there's our tattle right there. Now for the other arm with the primary release, it comes with two little nylock nuts right there to attach. You want to make sure you're not doing this over grass. It comes with two, you don't want to lose them, so do it at home before you take it out to the water. So let's go ahead and fasten those with that little tiny wrench that it comes with there. So now a lot of the uh, trolling guys for the walleye and stuff like to tighten down this clip extremely tight, this one extremely tight, set their line back there so when that fish hits it, the flag stays down, they reel in the planer board and all and pop both clips off of their line so it doesn't slide down on its own to a leader. Um, a choice, one of the things that I did, I'm not too into the flags myself, so what I, what I went ahead and did is I didn't run the flag and I like the traditional way and Yellowbird went ahead and put a nice little clip right there that you can open up, put you a snap swivel in there, squeeze it down to where you can put your line through there, twist it around to where it's nice and tight, just run your line directly through that big snap swivel, then when the fish pops it, this just slides back down to your leader, the old school traditional style. So you got that tattle flag method right there. You know, and you can also do the same thing. You can take a big snap swivel and you can put it off the back of there and uh, you can set this real light and this real light to where when the fish initially hits, you'll see it drop down. Both clips will more than likely pop loose. This will still slide down the line to your leader. You can do it that way or this way. This is generally what I'm, I'm doing most of the time. That's kind of what I prefer. Uh, or you can do it the way the uh, walleye trolling guys do it right there. Very cool. From there you have Yellowbird's new little tiny guy. They're addressing the panfish guys. Pretty darn cool. You have two little detent balls back in here. You can actually snap your line right there, clip it on. Uh, when the fish pops it, it'll just slide back down to your leader and you'll have the fish that way. If you're not, um, if you're worried about the line popping through the detents, you can take a big snap swivel um, like I was showing there and fasten down the detents and run a snap swivel off the back just like the traditional way to do it. But these are very, very cool boards, guys. Definitely get your hands on these. Start using these bad boys. 
Trust me, I use them all the time. I have put a lot of money in the boat and I've won some great tournaments and caught a heck of a lot of big fish strictly because I was using planer boards on those days where those fish were shallow out to the side of the boat. They didn't want to be under the boat. They wanted to be out next to me and we got them. Yellowbirdproducts.com guys, check it out.